Hey guys, Rock with Rock and Roll RC. Hey, check me out. I was messing around with uh, my zombie last night. Of course, you know, I got it yesterday and I couldn't run it. And last night I was kind of bored, so I thought I'd goof around. So there's a couple different things you might notice if you look at mine now. <laughs> and I'm, I've got more to show you. I took this decal off the back back here because I thought this design was pretty cool without it there. And I took that and put this sticker up here instead, and then I cut the little the excess plastic off the outside of it so it looked better. And I took these the four-wheel drive stickers off the fenders, and I cut them down, and I stuck them back here. So, oh, and I took these zombie stickers that went across the doors like this because look at the door, man, that pattern's cool. I wanted to see that, so I took it and I put it down here instead. I did the same thing on the other side. You know, it's got the four-wheel drive back here and zombie here. Um, all right, as far as aesthetics, that's pretty much. Well, I took the the DH the DHK zombie or DHK hobby sticker off of here and put this one there instead. That's what was there, the DHK hobby. And I took that DHK hobby sticker across here. I didn't like that either. But what I did do with them is the one that was on the hood is now on the bottom <laughs> and the one that was across here is now on the front of my controller <laughs> you know make that look cooler so yeah okay but um, something else I wanted to show you <laughs> check this out you can tell I was bored last night I took and put my on and off switch right there so it's easier to reach underneath there instead of trying to put your hand up in here, you know, uh, trying to get to it when it was sitting up here on the top. Okay? I'm not done yet. And look. I have headlights. Da 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 da. <laughs> I, put, I took the, like this set here. It comes with these little bezels, you know, little things you can put the lights in. So it's like headlight buckets. So. They're on there, you can see them. It's got the headlight buckets on there. <laughs> yeah, instead of trying to figure out how to put it in the bumper and stuff, I put them right there. And I think they look just cool as crap. <laughs> I don't see anybody else's zombie with lights on them, so I thought I would put lights on them. And um, now this is really going to, you're going to like this. Look at that! Tail lights, man! And what I did is I took these little thingies on the box. If you look at the box, the box shows these red, like they're supposed to have lights in them. So I took and drilled it out because there was nothing in there, you know, just a little X piece of plastic. So I took and drilled them out big enough to put that little, it's got the same thing as the other one. It's got them little chrome bezels like little chrome light, uh, light buckets or whatever you want to call them and I just screwed it into there stuck my lights in there oh and see this tubing I ran this tubing off the back of them instead of having the wire sticking out there I ran this tubing down across here and another piece coming off of this one down to where here I got some more to show you inside so I might as well take the top off <laughs> Oh, now check me out. Now you're wondering, oh man, the lights are in the body. Wow, how'd you do that? Well, I took a plug, ran them up here, stuck them with some plastic right there, and I put me a plug right here. So now I can unplug the body and set it over there. And I can still work on it. <laughs> cool. And I still got tail lights because the tail lights are attached to the the, the chassis, the spoiler. So I, just, I still got to get a better look at that. Is that cool or what, man? The the buckets were made for lights. I don't know why they didn't put lights on in them from the factory. But that's so sweet. They're so far apart. Just at night, it's going to look huge going down the road. <laughs> but 
Look, I got a 40 millimeter fan. I didn't realize that this was a 50 millimeter, 50 by 50 millimeter fan. So I got this one on here for now. Um, I rigged it on there. The other one will be perfectly easy to install. But look, here's my power switch. I put it down here with your, the double-sided sticky tape, you know. And it used to be up here, so that makes this look a lot cleaner up here. That's what I like. I like it looking clean. I got my wires all ran perfect. Got my deal set up here. And look, everything's uh, shrink tubing. I got this is in here coming off of this lead down here off the other side of there. And then this tubing, I don't know if you can see this, this tubing runs through here, down, and then comes up right here. And then spli I spliced it all in right here. So I didn't have a mess of wires everywhere. I just got this one little piece right here that goes underneath there. And then goes, this all goes into this tubing. All four of these go into this tubing and then this goes over and hooks down here on the other side of that lead for the fan for the ESC. It was like one of the only places that I really had to, to put it. But see all my wires are run down along here nice and neat. Up, run up through here and down. Batteries all in there neat. Yeah, man. I did a bunch of stuff to it last night. Oh, let me show you this tubing. Let me pull this loose from there. Look at this. I, I, I wide this off. <laughs> I took and I put this tube inside of this tube. With the wires coming from these two lights back here coming into this tube. And I split this tube and stuck that tube into the side of it and then wrapped it with the black tape so it's it's wide together there I don't, I don't know what you, what you want to call it but, and then it just like goes right right there like that and <laughs> but the cooling fan on the ESC cooling fan on the motor I know god I, I ordered that and I thought oh yeah it's got to be a 40 on there because it was a 30 on the, these other ones this, these smaller ones the 12s this one under here WL toys that stupid thing but I thought oh it's got to be 40 so I ordered a 40 and it's too small it's 50 by 50 now that I got it and can measure it but anyhow I just wanted to show you the little things that I did to mine to make mine different than anybody else's <laughs> headlights yeah. headlights them look so cool I just love that Headlights, tail lights, right where the tail lights should have been. All right, man. <laughs> I'm gonna get to go run it today after I take a nap. I've been up all night playing with the thing, messing around. I didn't even go out and run it. Look, tires are still brand spanking new. Good. I'm gonna take a nap and then I'm gonna go do a video, I guess. I just wanted to get, you know, I, I did thread lock on all, everything on the bottom and um, silicone on the screws uh, that were going into plastic because you can't use um, the blue thread locker or super glue on this plastic, man. It'll make it brittle after a while and it, everything just, all your towers that you screw into will start crumbling. So never use super glue or thread locker when you're putting a screw into a pla into plastic tower only metal to metal I use silicone I use uh, that's why I always got this and this is what I use it, just, it comes out white and goes and turns clear so you can see it and I use the hell out of this man I mean this is the best stuff to, to me it is I mean everybody else has their preference but I always got a big tube of this stuff man it's <laughs> use it for a lot and you just take them run your screw into the end of that and then take your screw and run it into your plastic uh, tower that you're trying to you know put it into and it stays and it doesn't chew up your tower and make it dry rot and stuff and crumble then nothing holds together all right man i'm rambling i'm just excited because i've got my freaking zombie you guys have a good one rock rock and roll rc